Hello and uh, thank you for watching this video. I'm Reza Rad from Radicat and in this video I'm going to explain what is the build access in a Power BI dataset, how that is different from edit access um, and what are the ways to add or remove build access and who would need that. Let's talk about it in this video. To start this, uh, let's talk about this example. So I'm going to uh, remove the build access on this data set. I'm going to show you uh, this workspace that I have some data sets already in this workspace. One of the data sets is this. Um, and in this data set, I have a report actually connected to that data set. I have a uh, role-level security configured. If you don't know what the role-level security is, uh, check out my blog link down in the description below which has a link to uh, study more uh, materials um, so there's a data set with uh, like six countries uh, sales information in it but uh, a role level security configured on this which means that um, on, on the security configuration i enabled for example this user my other user to only have access to usa information uh, and I've shared this user with uh, this report with that user. So user will see only that part of the information. That is rollable security, of course. Uh, now, if this user wants to go and build a report on top of this, so I'll go from the view of that user. Now, this is the other user logged in. If I go and create a new report, this is using the new report wizard option created by Power BI team recently, which is quite cool. Um, you can click and select uh, an existing data set. I'm going to select that data set. You see that that data set is not available for me here. Even if I have access to that data set. Um, so I'm going back to that uh, data set in the manage permission. You can see that this user already have an access to that data set. The access, the read access means that this user can view an existing report or content for this data set, but cannot create a new content. So what I'm going to do is to give this user a build access. And with the build access, now this user, um, normally it takes a little bit of time as well, uh, but we'll give it a try to see if it is available, not yet. So refreshing. and trying it one more time. Yeah, here it is. Now you can see that this user has access to that data set. And this is not just for all of the security data sets, this is for all types of data set. Now, um, if this user goes and create a report, like what you see already here, this is only accessing to the content that this user has access to, which is United States. So even though the original report was uh, for six countries sales information. This user can only see their own country information, even if they create a report. So build access is kind of different from edit access is not exactly the same. If this user had edit access, they would be able to see all the data for all six countries. Uh, but because they have build and view, uh, they can only see the data that they are authorized to see. Um, this is for role-level security, but even without role-level security, if the user wants to build any content on top of an existing data set, like creating a new report, creating even a new um, data set using direct query to a Power BI data set connection or other ways, uh, all of those would require a build permission. So who would need this build permission? Build permission is required for uh, report visualizers, someone who wants to connect to an existing data set, either live connection or direct query um, um, to a Power BI data set, but usually report visualizers use live connection uh, and build the reports or self-service champions who might use direct query uh, to a live connection and then bring other data sets. Uh, these users normally need build access to the data set. How you can provide the build access. So let me show you. Uh, you already seen one of the methods of providing build access. Um, the method that I showed to you uh, was through manage permission. So I can go to any data set. 
under manage permission so under data sets manage permissions um, here is the place you can add build access or remove build access that is one of the ways now i'm going to remove access from here just to show you another way of access another way of uh, providing this build access is through creating an app um, so when you create an app uh, if you have that data set part of that app uh, in your app configuration you have some configuration about title navigation but under permission one of the options is this allow users to connect to underlying data set using build permission so if you check this option this means that this app user i'm just creating an app for my user over there will have the build permission uh, i think i need some description here it is so published app okay this will create an app which my other user if i go to app section of my account get apps i should be able to see that test rls i've created Right, which not only gives me access to the app uh, content, but it also gives me the ability to create report on top of this content. Uh, so I would normally recommend giving the build access using this option, uh, using through the app. However, there is a limitation at the moment for that. As you have seen, when I created uh, that app, in the permission i mentioned that well this you uh, allow users to to build so you basically you are saying that all users of my app can build basically or if you say uncheck that means none of your users can build right there is no way to say some of these users can build some of them users cannot uh, unless you go and create two apps under one workspace which again that is not also a possible option not at the moment it might be in the future so if you have that kind of situations that some of your users are app users, some of them, uh, I mean, some of your app users are going to have build access, some of them are not, uh, then I would suggest uncheck this option here, create your app, then using manage permissions, set that accordingly for the user groups you want using what you have seen in the manage permission. Uh, so that is about the build access. One other thing I want to mention here is that uh, the user who have build access should have Power BI Pro license at the moment. Uh, even if this is hosted in a workspace with premium capacity, free users cannot edit the content. They, you might give them um, build permission, but they cannot really uh, build anything. For building, they need Power BI Pro license. It's a really important option to give a uh, build access to some users, not the edit access, because edit access would give them ability to go and modify the data set, sometimes even delete the data set. So for your self-service users, for your report visualizers, you normally want to give them build and view, but not the edit. Uh, I explained about different types of users again in another blog and video. Uh, go ahead and check in the description below. So that's it as a summary uh, build and view access is different from edit access it supports uh, or it respects role-level security and uh, you can provide the access in different ways uh, mentioned here if you like this video go ahead and check out our other videos and subscribe to our youtube channel we have weekly videos on power bi